Shalom. In today's discussion of Jewish philosophy, we're going to look at Rosh Chodesh. Rosh Chodesh happens once a month, we know that. And in the times of the Beit HaMikdash, and the way that Rosh Chodesh is supposed to be uh, established, witnesses would come to the Beit Din HaGadol, to the Sanhedrin in Jerusalem, and say that they saw the moon in a certain shape. The members of Sanhedrin would quiz them, and if the witnesses had actually seen the moon in its new shape, in the way that determines that it's a new month, the Sanhedrin would declare that it is Rosh Chodesh. Now, what's fascinating is that by simple calculation, the Sanhedrin already knew when Rosh Chodesh was going to be. They didn't need the witnesses to inform them of Rosh Chodesh. They knew just by looking at their calendars that it was going to be Rosh Chodesh in that night. The idea of having the witnesses come is to explain that the Jewish people are the ones that establish the dates on the calendar. It's not a divine decree. This is a fascinating idea, meaning that we need the witnesses to come to tell us that it's Rosh Chodesh. If the witnesses don't come, then it's not Rosh Chodesh because it's not that God establishes the calendar dates, we do. Which means that when it comes to something like Rosh Hashanah, we're establishing the Yom HaDin, we're establishing the judgment, not God. It's a fascinating idea in Jewish philosophy and one that you should think about. Shalom.